Hello everyone, it's Asagi. I make videos about Japanese lifestyle and today, finally, I'm gonna show you my apartment. I'm gonna do apartment tour. I know it's something I haven't done yet, even though I've been living for two years. That's because mostly my room is really, really messy. But now that I'm moving out this place, and I'm doing cleaning so much now I think it's clean enough to show you guys so this apartment is in Tulumi it's one of the places in Yokohama it's not the fancy place at all but it's really convenient if you work for Tokyo and apartments are really affordable compared to the ones in Tokyo or Yokohama central places so that's why I live in this place but there are some things I don't really like about this apartment so I'm gonna show you why and this place is very small like any apartments around Tokyo so I'm gonna show you how I live the tips to make this tiny place work for your lifestyle so first we're gonna do a room tour. So this is the entrance we call Genkan. So I have my shoes here. These are my casual shoes and these are more fancy ones I would say. And I have a garbage corner here <laughs> because I don't have much place to put my garbages, you know. And I have my accessories here so that I can just pick up and go. Well, since I'm moving, I have a lot of stuff like this. By the way, this Genkan entrance place doesn't smell really good because, I don't know, it's kind of muddy. I can't really see it, but maybe there are some molds around here. So it's not really a pleasant place. This is my tiny kitchen. It's not as clean, I know. So I have only one gas stove. This is not really convenient. So that's the thing I would say. That's one of the things I don't like about this place. I still have like just enough space to cook, but it's, you know, it's better to have at least two gas stoves, right? And I have dishes and my drinks like cocoa and Chinese teas sorry about the mess I have some tools like this like you can hang this like that so that I can put some cutleries and save some space as well as this one this one is also attached to the door and these are from dollar shop a dollar shop so it's very affordable and also I'm using this clips I don't know how to say it and I can hang some kitchen tools so this is how I survive from this tiny kitchen I also have garbage like kitchen garbage like this because there's no place to put garbage box like actual garbage box right and beside the kitchen I have home appliances tower to save some space I have fridge and microwave and rice cooker <laughs> but like this well pretty much I didn't have choice <laughs> and then also I have some food like I can just grab and eat as a breakfast and washing machine it's just a washing machine and behind the kitchen area I have my shower room The shower room is also not a pleasant place because it's really small like this. I don't really take a bath here. I just don't really want to 
you know? So I always shower, half shower. So it's got the mirror and it doesn't have a place for toothbrushes. So I got this from Muji. It's a Japanese shop and put like this. Also my cosmetics. Well, it's not enough for my like hair products and face washing. So uh, I put some here as well. It's so tiny. One thing it's good about is it's separated from washroom, you know, toilet. Well, sometimes Japanese apartment has shower room and like toilet. It's all combined and I didn't want to do that. So I have separated washroom here. Well, it's also nothing really mentioned, but yeah, I have a separated toilet, so it's good, it's good. And this is my living room. Like, this area is very dark. It's one other thing, again, it's not really, I don't really like it. And this room is also pretty dark for me. Well, today is a little cloudy, so obviously this room is not really bright, but even when it's sunny, it doesn't get a sunlight. Well, humans need sunshine, right? So this is my table. I usually eat here. So this is my chair. <laughs> It's just a cushion. Yogi ball. Do you know yogi ball? I got it two years ago, but it looks kind of sad. It used to be more fluffy. So I don't think I'm gonna bring it to the next place. I'll just throw. So yeah, I don't have a desk. I just have a coffee table like this. I also edit my video here and my PC it's here under the bed <laughs> because you know this place doesn't have much storage so I use this place like under the bed I put some things under the bed as well my bed set is from Nitori. I have bed frame and mattress and foot on cover. These are from Nitori and I really like it. And these curtains are also from Nitori. You know, there is a mansion apartment in front of this place. I want to just get more privacy using this kind of curtain, you know? So I don't think people can show my place, I think. I also have a shelf here and put some <laughs> random stuff like yoga mat and another pillow kind of thing and stuffed animal I got it from Derek hi and I have a mini TV but I don't really watch TV like anybody recently I only watch TV on morning to watch some news but that's really it so It's like this. I'm not really organized person. I'm a messed up person, you know. What do you think? In my standard, it's pretty clean. Pretty much like, yeah. This air conditioner slash heater is already attached to the apartment. So I didn't have to get the one for me, for myself. And I have another shelf. This is from this is from Ikea. 
IKEA in Japanese. I got a candle. It's actually Yankee candle. But this was wrong. I mean, candle was good, but it has many ashes. So it stains like this. It's, it's hard to see, but there are ashes all over the place and I, I think I have to pay extra to fix this I don't know if it's only for small places like this but you have to be careful when you use candle in your apartment and I have a little fluffy mattress it's very comfy I like that this is also from IKEA well, since it's a small place, I don't really have much things to show, but what else? Oh, so I have a closet, but it's inside is a black hole. Well, fuck it. I'll just show you. So it's like this. I just hang some clo clothes here. Well, just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it so that was my room. I lived in two years. Like I showed you, there was there were some things I didn't like about that room. But of course, there were some things I thought it was good. The apartment had self-lock entrance and security camera, so they were more secure because it was kind of important for me as um, as a female who lives alone even though Japan is a pretty safe country crimes are still happen and the place was only a 10 minutes walk from the station that was very convenient they also have a free internet that was very important for me as a youtuber and the cost was 64,000 yen for I think the size was 20 to 21 square meter so it wasn't expensive so I think they had many benefits for their price but after I lived there I found the kitchen was so inconvenient shower room and the entrance was kind of spooky and the room doesn't get much sun it feels kind of depressing if I don't get a sunlight during the day, you know, so yeah, after all, I didn't want to live there any longer. So that was my thoughts on the room. So what do you think? Do you think I'm spoiled or do you agree? Let me know in the comments section. I also have an apartment hunting tour videos when I was doing an apartment hunting. So check that check them out if after this video if you want to and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always thanks for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one bye